Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse. This is QuickMind. I think I'm going to do a couple of hour-long sessions today, since I had to work again on Friday night. Here we have the alien fast attack ship. It's highly maneuverable and armed with a powerful beam weapon. It's designed to protect the other alien ships. It's good times. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Let's go with UFO Type 5. Actually, no. Let's go for this alien proximity mine. That way we can start selling them. Now let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Alright, UFO spotted. Ooh. Wow, it's three UFOs. Okay. Alright, so we're going to focus on one of them. Most likely this one, since it's the closest but I'm going to have to pay attention to all three of them. Okay, so we have this building again. Pretty sure we had that one in a previous episode. And that one too. Um, let's just head back to base, guys, because you're not going to be able to get that in time. Although, let's send you here. Let's send you here so I'll remember where everything is. Now, if this guy sticks around, we might be able to take him down. Let's see. Man, that beam looks so weird. Okay, no. Couldn't do anything this time. That's alright. Uh, actually... Let's see, where was that? It was right here. So we'll go ahead and get our agents back. That's right, just about everyone's healthy again. Yay. Okay. Let's see. We're going to take you out. Oh, yeah, we're going to put you in because you can actually gain stats. And I'm pretty sure I re equipped everyone last video. Just run through real quick. I missed that one. Okay, so I guess I didn't. Good thing I double checked. Am I even putting those grenades on people? No, I haven't even started doing that yet. Huh. Now let me go ahead and do that real quick then. Yeah, I kind of changed the sound stuff around again. I was doing some other things with the sound to try to help it, help it sound better and make my voice sound better and all that, and, and it just didn't work out very well. So I kind of went back to the way I used to do things. And that way I could also have the music back a little bit louder again. Because that's, to me, that's pretty important. you got to have some good music. 
So we'll start in this corner. Yeah, I think I need either a new microphone or a sound card. Cause right now I have onboard audio and I just kind of leaning towards that being the problem. Because I've tried to do some things with this mic and it just isn't working out. Now if I turn my boost down then, you know, it sounds better, but, you know, even with the volume still maxed out, I'm kind of quiet. Alright. So, let's go ahead and move you up here. That way we have some psionics in, in each squad. That's one thing I like to shoot for. here. Uh, let's see. You guys will come this way. You guys will also come this way. And you guys will come around this way. Let's save it. Definitely hear them. Definitely hear the popper. Sneak around the back again. Okay, we'll just stop right there. Yeah, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. I'm trying to talk a little bit louder as well. get you. Oh, hello. Shoot. Doofus. Oh, man, that hurt that guy. Wow. Okay. Oh, and they fled. Fantastic. I know when I see a walking bomb coming at me, I like to not shoot at it. Alright, let's go over here and look for him. Man, that one shield just went right up, though. Okay. Uh, let's see, you're gonna go there. Let's just do three squads. We'll have squad four run away. Because they don't like to shoot at poppers. Let's see, we'll go right here. 
you guys just go. Go home. don't hear him yet. It's so quiet. just know I'm going to walk in the door somewhere and they're just going to be sitting there waiting for me. Okay, you're not necessary. We'll take you out anyway, though. Oh, yep, there they are. Alright, let's try out some psionics real quick. Because psionics are cool. Okay, get away from his equipment. One anthropod. Oh well. Okay, let's head back. Drop off our non responsive agents. Okay. Alright, we really didn't shoot much, which is good. Conserve a little bit of ammo. I'll wait to uh, let them re equip until later when they actually need to re equip. Oh, you can come home. Okay, go after this group next. Well, I've been playing Ogre Battle a little bit lately. It's uh, turning out to be a little bit longer than I remember. I'm a few uh, maps into the game already, and, and my lord is already getting overpowered. Which, if you're wanting a good ending, it's not the way to go. But if you don't want to go that way, the game is a lot harder. You have things to deal with like reputation and alignment. The alignment's basically how good you are morally. And uh there's there's that wall. And uh the stronger you get, the easier it is to become evil because you get stronger than everyone else and uh People don't like to see, you know, bullies picking on the weaker guys. So you have to really balance how you use your units if you want to be good. Now, if you want to go evil in that game, <laughs> then it's very, very easy. The game is very easy. Uh, kind of boring, even. And a lot harder. Or, I'm sorry, a lot easier. Alright. 
Let's try to swing around here. Okay. Delayed reaction, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and drop a smoke grenade so we can hopefully get them to stop shooting at us for now. Yeah, there you go. Right, let's scoot forward a little bit. See, we spotted an alien somewhere. Right there. I think I can stun him. Let's go, guys. Let's see how close I can get. Okay. Oh, hello. Who's getting hurt? Okay, none of my guys could. Focus on that guy. Focus on them. Move. All right. I know this is taking longer, folks, but this is going to be worth it. Go ahead and switch this stuff around. Everyone can shoot at will. Why will? Well, because will's a bad guy. No, I don't know. Look here. Look there. Alright. Excellent job, guys. Excellent. Now that's how you're supposed to do it. Now let's save this puppy before the game decides to crash. Okay. We got in and out of the mission in an instant. That's efficiency, guys. Good job. Weaving around buildings. G-forces? Nah, XCOM's above G-forces. Alright, don't need you, but I do need you. Boy, do I pity you, Skeletoid. Alright. And, let's see. Okay. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Good times. One more day on the advanced workshop. I am excited. I can actually start building some stuff quicker. Now let's see. Now re-equip. 
I suppose I'll give you your shield back. Okay, let's see. Wow, good job. Yeah, might as well. Jeez, look at that for a hybrid. She's got some excellent accuracy. She's been around for a while, too. 23 days. Excellent psionics. Okay. Moving on along. Okay. Looking good. Alright, so you can come home now. Alright folks, I'm back after the game decided it needed to crash my computer. Um, so I kind of know what's coming up right now. Uh, really wasn't a whole lot of stuff lost, but you know, there was some, obviously. So it's a preemptive strike, I'm gonna throw a stun grenade over here, because Hey, I know what's coming on, so... Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I know I need to bring these guys over then. Eh, sure, why not. Bad toss. Okay. All right. Good job. Come on now. As you can see, one of my agents there fell down to the next level. <laughs> so I wonder if he can walk over there. Or it, whatever. Okay, so he's decided to run up there. So let's just kind of stop and get back up here for now. Try out some psionics real quick. Ooh, pick that up before it blows up. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Uh, da, da, da. Let's put everything on the ground and come on over for a little bit. Don't know how long it's going to last, but... You know, I can try. There we go. Yep. 
something like that. Okay, well, I did have them shoot that out last time, but obviously not this time. Okay. Well, actually, that went a lot better than the first time around, so I guess it worked out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Where's this at? Huh, yeah. I uh, I got there just little enough time to let that alert go. I don't know if that made it through with that last video. I guess I'll find out when I edit the videos together, but... Like, as I was getting there, I got an alert in that building saying they were aliens, which, you know, I, I knew that. I was already heading there. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Okay. So I guess we have something to do with Megapole. Wow, a lot of force fields from that one. Let's go ahead and start doubling up now. Doing some re-equipping. Excellent accuracy there. Okay. You need one because you have weaker armor. You too. And you. Okay, looking pretty good right now. So let's go take them on. good. Mm, lots of close quarters fighting in this one. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Let's go right there. Okay. Looks like a good enough start. Let's see. Uh, I think there's an upstairs over there. Eh, maybe not. I kind of remember this map from a previous episode where uh, Popper came down and blew up right next to me. Didn't I don't think it hurt anybody because we had shields at the time, but like I didn't didn't want it to happen. You'll come up here and back them up. We'll walk around that corner. going to shoot, because you're going to blow stuff up. Okay, now you can shoot.
Oh, no, 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 no. Don't waste ammo on those guys. Aha. Very good, very good. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Advanced workshop is complete. Okay. So first of all, let's see, I think I already transferred guys. Okay, three. What are we gonna start with first? We're gonna start with the dimension probe because that is important. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everyone off. Oh, no. And I'm going to transfer my best units over. Now let's see how many do. How much? Uh, can't look there. Living quarters. Okay, so I still have plenty of room to transfer. Okay. So hundreds going. Yeah, you're going. See, I need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I think there's a 91 up there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's see who we can hire. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see. Looks like I might have to do some more transferring when everyone gets in, but that's okay. And 90. Lots of androids, goodness. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Everyone but the three I had there originally. Okay. The three M's are going to go back to that base. Is that good enough? Ooh, Mikhail. Sorry, man. We don't need you. Ooh, Maria, sorry. We found an 86. 
Okay. Alright, so fairly balanced between the two workshops. Still trying to pump out the uh, Toxagon clips. Let's go ahead and save it. Still plenty of time left for my double episode. I'm trying to come up with a funny name for it. It'll probably be something like uh, I, don't know, I don't know hour long episode because I had to work Friday or something like that. I'll make an acronym out of it. I don't want to go too far because I have a f sneaking suspicion or bad feeling they're going to come down one of these two, so I don't want to get too close to those. Let's go ahead and save it. Fly! I kind of want to get away from these two. They're uh, slightly unstable. Hyperworm somewhere. Aha. Good job, guys. Well, they can hop over, but you can't, because you're not cool. Some more live aliens, thanks to my stun grapples. Don't really need them, but yeah, you know, extra damage is extra damage. I don't think I need anything. Oh sure, now I get another Skeletoid alive when I don't need them. It's just that easy. Okay. Alright. Skeletoid complete. Yeah, it can fly. Withstand a lot of damage. It can use a variety of equipment. How with that hand, I don't know. Must be left handed, I guess. It can be influenced psionically. But it does have some resistance. Alright. Still gonna be a little while before I can try to get the toxa, uh, toxa, <coughs> excuse me, toxin type C. Requires a few more live aliens. Okay, should be healthy now. Okay, almost. Now he still has a while to go. Danger! Danger! Alright, my B clips stock has built back up. Okay. 
probably start selling some equipment. I think you're going to start using Toxagon now. Because I like force fields, and I like to have them. Doo -doo -doo. I'll wait on you for now. Try to keep the androids as a backup. give you one just in case I need it. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff real quick. We'll also look at who we can hire. Oh, big money. Woo. Look at that. Those are big money too. They really sell for a lot. Half tempted to uh, raid Marsec for some body armor, but if I'm going to do that, it's going to be off screen. Okay. Let's see who we have here. Base. 286s, 3. It'll be a, a slight improvement, but I guess a I guess an improvement nonetheless. gonna build some more. Research is slowly moving along there. Dimension probe's almost done. There we go. We have nothing research, but it's good to have you there anyway. Let's go ahead and save it. April 5th. Alright, Dimension Probe. Well, let's see. I might as well work on some more <clears throat> clips. And the probe, right there. Uh, let's just transfer you real quick. We're going to send that to the uh, alien dimension right away because there's really uh, no point in keeping it. It's its ability to deal damage is really minor, and uh, it can't carry troops anyway, so I don't need to keep it in case, you know, I have a UFO attack or something, or missions to go to. Alright, so we need to look for the blue triangles. We have one right here. Go to it. Alright. So at the end of the day, when the day is over, the game will transfer to the alien dimension, and that's when I'll start dealing with their world. Oh, wow. Uh, let's get a couple more people in the action. Alright. Everybody likes experience. must have been brewing for a while. I 
I've got a feeling we're going to be getting some UFOs today, too. So we'll see how that goes. Wow. Psy Squad right here. So you'll go there. And you'll go there. Yeah, I'd eventually like to get nothing but hybrids. Because it's just... It's so much better to do it that way as long as you can get the experience and training in. Because psionics are, uh, uh, what you call it, you know, they're, they're limited on how much you can develop them, develop them, but everything else is not limited. Everything else can get maxed out. It's just hybrids start lower physically while humans start lower mentally. somewhere. Way up there. There we go. Oh, crud. There's the grenade. Still some walking around going on, so there must be quite a group of aliens in here. Where'd you go? Oh, no, this way. Coming to get you. Who else? Yeah, group four. Where was that at? This way. All right. Good job, guys. All kinds of equipment captured. Very good. City clean one. All right. Wow. Interesting. these came from. Okay. Switch them out. Oh, 
Nice. Well, let's all start in this corner. Come on over here. Yeah, that should be good. Now let's see. Ooh, an all flying unit. We'll take you guys. I don't know. Yeah, we'll take you up here. Sneak you guys in here. They are coming. Take him out. Okay, well, that was easy enough. I won't argue. Little ammo used and no damage. Just waiting on that UFO. Okay, alien dimension time. So yeah, we start out with some uh, very dreary looking terrain. A couple of little UFOs here. Plenty of lava looking stuff. Here we're kind of looking at the main alien city. Very similar to XCOM or the humans. You know, you have your transfer tubes and your buildings. And we don't know what it is, so this is called an alien structure. But we start over here came through this portal. Alright. So we're we're just getting um, kind of some data of the alien dimension right now. We don't really know what's going on or what these are. Uh, if you look here you can see lots and lots of UFOs. Actually there's usually more than this so we must be doing some damage to them. And if you look here you can see them all flying around everywhere kind of see the general layout of uh, the alien dimension as well. So we're going to go back to base real quick. Good job. Okay, and then now it's going to take the whole next day for the... Uh, excuse me, I had to stretch there. It's going to take the whole day for the dimension probe to come back through. So in the meantime, you know, we're going to go through this day doing whatever happens. So you want to be careful uh, sending like, all your troops or, or too many because they'll be gone for a whole day. Plus it, however long they're in the dimension when you first send them. So generally I'd try to wait till the very end of the day before sending your craft through on a mission. Ooh, 96. So at this point of the game I'm kind of just going through, uh, working on research, making sure I have the best uh, agents possible, um, you know, led my other agents, ooh, 98, led my other agents, uh, train, stuff like that, kind of waiting for UFOs to come through. So I'll, I'll hire Leon right now, and then I'll transfer someone over to here. That way I, I keep my best engineers. So we're going to lose Carl. So Carl 
Kyle's going to go over to here. Who am I going to lose here? Mariko or Jane? So let's see. Carl's coming over here. Uh, Jane, you're the first one I saw. Sorry. Okay. So now both workshops are doing 444, which is pretty nice. It doesn't matter that they're doing the same amount, but you know, it's, it, I guess it's neat. Let's look at the cloaking field real quick before I quit. It's getting pretty close to that time. Personal cloaking field. Personal cloaking field generates a warping effect that bends various waveforms. Means you're invisible or less visible to radar, infrared, and visual sighting. The field is disabled temporarily if the user initiates combat, which kind of doesn't make sense considering most of the time the aliens or myself when I use it, it I won't become visible, or the aliens don't come become visible either. It's kind of weird. All right, so we can research the biotransport and the alien dimension. Um, although what I'm gonna do is the medium disruptor beam. Pretty sure that's what I want to do right now. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, they're still working on the grenades. So now we're going to re-equip before I quit. And I'm getting very close to my optimum uh, layout for my equipment. And actually, to be honest, really all I'm missing for my end game setup is new armor. I'd rather not ruin that for you just yet, but believe me when I get it, it's going to be a world of difference. Uh, I'll wait on you. I'm not using you right now. Get up there. Okay. This does help survivability quite a bit. I eh, don't need to worry about you either. Okay. Let's see. I think that's it for now. Let's take a look at how much those sell for real quick. Real quick. I'll show you how much money you can make if you really get a lot of those all at once. Yeah, look at that. 8300 for one of those. So you can make some real nice money. The aliens start just giving them to you. They're like, here, we're going to equip two just for you to make some money when you win this mission. Uh, it just gets that ridiculous after a while. And of course, you never want to sell these. Vortex mines? Yeah, I'll sell those. I don't need those right now. Um, yeah, it looks like it's about it. Getting a lot of, a lot of boomeroids here. Devastator cannons, we get rid of those now. No, actually, I think I'm gonna buy a Hawk Air Warrior real quick. There we go. A little bit of extra firepower for when the aliens come. Uh, I think that's good, folks. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and quit for now. 
See the base layouts are good. Uh, I don't really think I need to buy a third base right now because really I have enough manufacturing going on. I don't really need another manufacturing base. Um, sometimes what I like to do is to build another base and just fill it with repair shops or repair bays. And you don't even have to transfer your vehicles over to them. You can just put them in there and they'll be repaired. And that way you can get some heavy repair work done. Because right now it's just one vehicle repair bay. You know, if I have a couple of big ships hurt, uh, they're going to stay that way for a while. But I really don't know of any good buildings in this uh, difficulty that's good for that. This one wouldn't be too bad. You know, you could put like a uh, repair bay here and then surround it with security. Uh, another one here, surround it with security. Put security here. I can even go here, some security here, and then you can put living quarters and stuff and fill that in. So you have like, I'll uh, see what, one, two, three repair bays. That would get a lot of work done. Uh, this one wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, you'd really just be able to get two repair bays in. But the building cost is way bigger. So I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, this one wouldn't be too good. Cheap, but not very good. Kind of the same with this one. Although that one's really expensive. Uh, let's see. I think that might be it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to be cool with what I have now. Uh, if I really need to repair more, then I'll probably look into getting that warehouse. But I think I'm good for now. Uh, yeah, that's going to be good, so I'll go ahead and save it for now. So thank you for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.